Hi, I'm Liz Shanks, and welcome to Liz's Book Snuggery. Our read aloud selection today is June by Emily Kate Moon. I love books that celebrate the relationships that exhibit how fulfilling and natural the give and take can and should be between the older generation and the younger ones. This older generation happens to be the one whose shoulders we stand on, for they model and teach both our children through their wisdom and example, and us, if we let them. And in that vein, I want to introduce you and your young reader to a girl named June, her turtle Dr. Chin, who rides around atop June's hat, and June's grandpa. She lives in a round house called a yurt with nine windows and a skylight on top built by her grandpa. They share their lives and the simple things of daily living, including a relationship that is quite special. Meet June, a unique and unusual young lady. My name is June. Some people spell it with a U. I spell it with a smiley face. I'm five, but I can count to a hundred. I like orange and purple and ice cream sandwiches, and I only wear my orange dress. That's Grandpa. He can count to a thousand. He used to be a scientist. Now, he's just my Grandpa. Every day, Grandpa teaches me something new. He says every day I teach him something new, too. Yesterday, I taught him how to make a daisy crown. Grandpa says it's important to do things for other people. So today, I'm organizing his books in rainbow order, leaving an ice cream sandwich in the mailbox for the mail lady, and collecting rocks for Dr. Chin to climb. Dr. Chin, by the way, is my turtle. I got him last year when I was little. Dr. Chin lives with me and Grandpa in our yurt. Most houses are square, but a yurt is round. Ours has nine windows and a skylight at the top. Grandpa built it when he wasn't old. Now he just fixes it. Sometimes Dr. Chin and I help, and sometimes we don't. Then Grandpa says, June, that dress is filthy. You're not allowed to wear it till it's clean. So I don't. Good thing Dr. Chin loves swimming. I do too. Dr. Chin and I are always busy. When Grandpa sees all our work, he says, June, I don't know where you find the energy. And I say, Grandpa, I don't know either. When Grandpa looks a little tired, I say, Grandpa, let's call it a day. And he says, that's a good idea, June. Then we all eat dinner together. And if I'm good, I get dessert. At bedtime, Grandpa tucks me into bed, and I read him a story. If he's good, I read him too. Then I say, sleep well, Grandpa. We have lots to do tomorrow. And he says, have sweet dreams, June. So I do. Listen.